So uh, we will talk about the efficiency, uh, motorcycle efficiency as de derived uh, as uh, eta thermal is equal to one minus one over r gamma to the power gamma minus one. So uh, if you draw a curve uh, <coughs> of uh, compression ratio versus e efficiency, because as you see from the equation, is a uh, efficiency um, depends on the compression ratio the higher the compression ratio the higher the efficiency the, the efficiency can never be one but if you have a high compression ratio you will always get a good uh, efficiency a high efficiency so the graph shows the <coughs> variation of efficiency and uh, so um, what limits the uh, efficiency or the uh, what what limits you uh, so what restricts you obtaining a high efficiency uh, depends on things like um, early ignition. Uh, so early ignition, can, uh, suppose you uh, try to increase the efficiency uh, in, by increasing the compression ratio. But if when you increase the compression ratio, it starts, the temperature increases as well. So uh, when you increase the compression ratio and if, if you increase the compression ratio beyond uh, at which the uh, at which the air fuel mixture reaches the auto ignition temperature it ignites too early it will ignite too early so if it, if it ignites too early uh, so the uh, reasons for uh, ignition uh, before you need uh, uh, one is the compression ratio as i said uh, so when, when that happens that you call you call it a uh, knocking so knocking is uh, start or auto ignition before it before the uh, air fuel mixture comes to before before it before uh, the <clears throat> ignition before the air fuel mixture comes to its uh, pressure required pressure so um, say for example if the um, compression ratio is 15 you might reach the auto ignition temperature before uh, when it comes to uh, to 12 maybe therefore uh, <coughs> at that point uh, you uh, you call it auto uh, so uh, detonation detonation means uh, now when when it ignites before the required uh, pressure um it explodes like a bomb so it, it the com the com the, because it's an air fuel mixture it explodes everywhere it it combusts everywhere so it explodes it explodes like a bomb but this is not the case uh, with the compression ignition because uh, even though um, it auto ignites it auto ignites as a diffusion flame it doesn't auto ignite as a um, as a premix flame so uh, that means uh, the combustion uh, occurs only in the flame front where where uh, where the where the fuel meets the air yeah. but uh, in com in in uh, spark ignition uh, detonation it uh, explodes everywhere because you have an air fuel mixture inside okay um, and pinging is uh, uh, is uh, ignition uh, at various places due to um, uh, hot spots etc uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, well knocking no knocking uh, knocking is uh, uh, the other um example knocking happens when you, when, when you advance it to advance it too much so uh, so that, so that that means uh, you want uh, to want that to um, <clears throat> ignite at some point but you advance it too much so uh, when, when you advance it too much uh, it, um, it it doesn't ignite at that point uh, so you ignite too early Therefore, but you don't have enough uh, compression or enough uh, uh, conditions for it to ignite. So therefore, what happens is it ignites and it 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 uh, loses its uh, it loses uh, the uh, ignition a little bit and then it ignites again. So that that's called knocking. So there is a knock sensor in every um, uh, every engine, uh, uh, every every um, uh, gasoline engine these days. So um, then we will talk about um, uh, what is called uh, the research octane number. Research octane number is a 
fuel uh, uh, at fuel at which it knocks basically it's a it's a measure of the fuel when it is knocking so um, the higher the the higher the octane number the higher the uh, tendency for it to knock really so um, if you when you go to the um, when you go to the fuel pump uh, or, or the uh, forecourt, you will see that uh, there, there are 95 uh, run fuels, or run means research octane number, 95 run fuels or 98 uh, run fuels, uh, etc. So, um, <coughs> so research octane number is given in a scale where you um, uh, give um, 100. Uh, the value 100 to uh, an ISO 100% uh, ISO octane fuel, or if uh, or if your fuel is equal to 100% uh, heptane, uh, or that means it is 100% hept heptane, but nothing. Uh, no oct no ice octane at all you call it as zero um, run so heptane is zero run uh, ice octane uh, is um, 100 run so your fuel uh, is uh, an equivalent to a mixture of so if you say 90 uh, if you say run 90 that means uh, that your fuel is equivalent to a mixture of 90 percent uh, ice octane and uh, zero, uh, eight ten percent heptane so uh, your regular unleaded fuel in Europe is 95% uh, run. Uh, premium is 98, sometimes 99. Uh, and uh, gasoline uh, is uh, um, E85 gasoline is uh, 102 to 105 maybe. Uh, so yeah, so th those are the um, values. So um, as an exercise now. Uh, you can calculate this uh, so uh, in the air standard auto cycle uh, if, if it operates at 300 k and 95 kilopascal and and the compression ratio is 9.5 and the maximum temperature the maximum temperature is 1100 degrees kelvin so uh, <laughs> try to try to um, calculate uh, the uh, efficiency so the uh, temperature at the end of compression stroke the peak pressure Heat addition per unit mass, uh, net work per unit mass, uh, th and thermal efficiency, and uh, make any assumptions that you. Have. So, this is the solution. So you you should have uh, done that. So look at the solution later. Okay. So I'm not going to explain this as yet. Um, in fact, I can. I will. Uh, I will explain this one to you uh, very quickly. So what it says is, uh, so it starts at 300k uh, and uh, 300k and 95 kilopascal, and compression ratio is 9.5. So that is RV is 9.5. Maximum temperature is 1000 k, uh, 100 kelvin, and and then uh, you, you are required to uh, ca calculate the um, temperature at the end of the compression stroke. So what happen is, what happens is, okay. So, uh, so you so you have one one two three four states one two three four one two three four so uh, that, so that, that that's the compression that's the heat addition that's the expansion that's the exhaust so temp temperature and pressure at uh, point one is given temp uh, temperature at point three is given so uh, you, this is an isentropic process this is an isentropic process this is an isobaric process this is an isobaric process so. Uh, therefore, you can calculate uh, your temperature at compression stroke easily by using that one. Uh, T2 equals T1, uh, V1 over V2, uh, gamma minus 1. V1, V2 over, uh, sorry, V1 over V2 is always the compression ratio. Okay, So with that, you can get 738. Pressure at the end of compression uh, stroke, so you use uh, the P1, V1 or T1 is equal to P2, V2 or T2. So you know you know P1, you know V1 over V2 ratio, you know T1 and T2. So with that, you can say, you can get 2,220 kilopascals, or you can use P1 V1 gamma is equal to P2 V2 gamma. So with that also you can get the answer. And the peak pressure 
is uh, so p p p, p uh, so the condition uh, so two to three is an isochoric pro process so so in the this one you can say p2 v2 p2 v2 over t t2 is equal to p2 v2 over t uh, t3 p3 v3 over t3 so uh, and and with that you can get uh, so your V2 and V3 are the same. Therefore, you can get uh, your 3,310 3, kilopascal pressure. So then, um, uh, so you know, uh, then then you know the conditions at two. So then you know the temperature at three also. So you you could have uh, ob you you obtain obtain P3 as well. This is 3,310. So once you've got that, uh, you can you can apply that to uh, between uh, p1 v1 sorry p3 v3 over t3 um, uh, is equal to p3 v3 over t3 uh, p4 v4 over t4 and p3 v3 to the power um, gamma is equal to p4 v to the uh, v4 to the power gamma right so there with that you can obtain the temperature at uh, 4 also so pressure at the end of the expansion stroke is P, P, P4 is equal to P1, T2 or T1. Uh, so with that you can get 141 kilopascal. You can you can use that equation or you can use that equation basically. Then heat, heat addition is U, U23 is equal to Q23 minus W23. But W23, there is no work done here. Therefore Q2, U23 is Q23. Therefore uh, CV is T3 minus T2. So uh then your cv is uh, 0.718 um then uh, t, you know t3 and t2 that we can calculate at q23 so uh, uh, then you you can your uh, u net is u net, q net minus w net so, um, uh, so q net is equal to w net because your um, w um, q net is uh, zero therefore um Sorry, um, uh, unit is equal to zero. Sorry, your unit is equal to zero. U. So Q net is Q two three minus Q four one, which is uh, Q uh, two two hundred sixty uh, Kelvin. So that's Q four one is uh, C V T four minus T one. Uh, again, that is uh, one hundred four kil uh, kil um, kilojoules per kilogram. And Q net is one hundred fifty five with that. Okay, so that is a uh, um, that minus that, yeah. So thermal efficiency you can obtain it at as 59 percent so you can check it with uh, the simple equation that we derived earlier one minus one over rv gamma minus one so your rv uh, r r is 9.5 gamma is 1.4 with if you use that you you can obtain say obtain the same uh, value uh, okay So then we talk about the diesel cycle. So take, we'll talk about the diesel cycle. It, uh, take some time to uh, draw the diesel cycle if you uh, can uh, for a PV diagram for the diesel cycle. So the PV diagram for the diesel cycle is something like this. So uh, well, suction is an isobaric process anyway, and um, compression is a isentropic process. And uh, heat addition is uh, different here. It's an iso isobaric process again, and uh, then uh, diesel is slow burning, therefore it's an isobaric process. So then expansion is an isentropic process, and uh, uh, heat and, and exhaust uh, is an isoco isochoric process with uh, with uh, one one to zero coming back um, uh, during exhaust. So. Uh, Heat release here, and that is the exhaust. This is heat release. That is it. So this compression, heat addition, expansion, heat release, and uh, this is induction and exhaust basically. Right? So, in the, the diesel cycle TS diagram will look like this. So um, the difference between the diesel cycle and the um, gasoline cycle here uh, is now in the gasoline cycle you have an isentropic con compression and isochoric heat addition. Here you have isobaric heat addition, and then the uh, other three um, processes are the same. So, uh, the, so isentropic expansion and um, iso uh, and uh, isochoric heat release. So, heat release is the same for both the, um, for, for for both cycles. So, then, uh, so 
we can uh, again uh, calculate the efficiency like in the um, auto cycle so we'll see how we how we um, can uh, how, how what what the efficiency that what we get and so eta thermal is one minus gamma rc gamma minus one o divided by rv gamma minus one uh, times uh, gamma uh, times rc gamma minus so now this is this this r is the volume compression ratio this rc is the uh, <coughs> you, you call it the um cutoff ratio okay cutoff ratio is uh, so so cu cutoff ratio is uh, the uh, volume at 3 volume at point 3 divided by volume at point 2 so rv is volume at point 1 divided by volume at point 2 rc is volume at point 3 divided by volume at point 2 so again you can use the same equations as before uh, to calculate uh, the um, work done over heat in that is your efficiency so that is q23 uh, minus q41 or q23 or uh, in, on the other hand 1 minus q41 my, over q23 uh, because uh, so get, <clears throat> then you can um, use uh, now your thermal efficiency q23 is mcp t3 minus t2 and q41 is mcv t4 minus t1 so this process for this process you need to use cp rather than cv earlier you use cv for this these processes but here, or, or this process you use CV, this for this process you use CP. Uh, and heat addition it at, at, at CP, okay? So MCP T2 minus T2. So uh, therefore, you can write it as one minus T4 minus T1, T3 minus T2, uh, uh, gamma, okay? So with that, uh, you, you can say uh, your T1, uh, V1, gamma minus one is equal to T2, V2, gamma minus one. That will give you T2 or T1 is equal to V1 or V2, gamma minus one. So T2 or T1 is RV, gamma minus one. Okay. So uh, for an isobaric process, process, P2, V2 or T2 is equal to P3, V2 is equal to T3 and P2, V2 are the same. Therefore, T3 over T2 is equal to V3 over V2. And uh, then that will give you T3 over T2 give, gives you RC. So RC is the field cutoff ratio. So from that, uh, for an isentropic process, T3, V3, um, gamma minus one is equal to T4, T4 V4, gamma minus one. That will give you T4 minus, T4 over T3 is equal to V3 over V4, gamma minus one. And with that, you can uh, you say, can say T4 over T3 is equal to RC over RV, gamma minus one, okay. So then uh, eta thermal is, uh, you, you can write it as, I write it like this 1 minus t4 minus t1 over t, t3 minus t2 uh, times gamma this is 1 minus t1 over t2 t4 over t1 minus 1 this uh, t here you can write uh, this 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 element as t2 gamma t3 times uh, t3 over t, t t2 minus 1 and then you can rearrange it by uh, um, <coughs> Uh, like this, uh, uh, so you, you for, for T4 or T1, no, you write T4, T3, T3 or T2, T2 or T1. So and then you use all those ratios that you obtained earlier. So you can substitute T2 or T1 is R V gamma minus one, T3 or T2 is uh, R C, and T4 or T3 is R C over R gamma minus one. So if you substitute all of that in here, you will obtain eta thermal is equal to one minus one over R. Uh, gamma minus one times uh, R C O R gamma minus one times R C times R gamma minus one minus one. So that, that, that those are those terms. This one, that one, that one minus one. T three O T two is again R C uh, gamma is already there. R C gamma minus one. Okay. So that is that is what you get in here. Okay. That is your efficiency. Full efficiency. Okay. That's that's your efficiency. So ideal versus real cycles. Uh, so um, <clears throat> so 
that's 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 your ideal cycle. Uh, actually, the real cycle is something like this. So so you can't have ideal process like this, and you can't have an ideal isochoric process for this, an ideal isochoric process for, for that either. So and and the suction and compression rate, compression pressures are not exactly the same. The suction pressure pressure is something below um, um, atmospheric. Uh, Exhaust pressure is something slightly something above atmospheric, so that gives you that. But the work done here is, is work, work done here can, it can be gained. Therefore, you can still uh, eliminate this. Uh, so this is these are, these are called pumping losses. Now this is a crevice cre cre effects that means uh, <coughs> and le le leakages that means <coughs> you can have le you will have leakages uh, between the compression rings through the compression rings etc and uh, uh, heat transfer during combustion results in lower pressure and, and then uh, fine uh, so com combustion takes time so it's not like it's 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 not it's we say we assume that to be instantaneous but it's not actually instantaneous and then um, heat transfer during um, expansion results fall below atmospheric uh, line and uh, there can be incomplete combustion, about 5% plus uh, due to that. Uh, so uh, exhaust valve actually uh, opens before uh, uh, but, uh, BDC, therefore uh, <laughs> gas pressure drops before uh, the isentropic line. So for various reasons, you will get uh, uh, the real uh, real uh, envelope, uh, real PV envelopes. Uh, so I'm not dif dif different to uh, the ideal cycle. Yeah. Then you have what you call the dual cycle. So, so uh, a dual cycle is is a cycle where you have one to two uh, is uh, isentropic uh, compression, two to three. So, so you uh, start ignition at um, you 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 start ignition. The ignition uh, part of the ignition takes uh, takes place as iso isochoric process, and the rest of the compression take. The rest of the combustion takes place as uh, an isobaric process. So two to three is an isochoric process, whereas three to four is an isobaric process. So so heat addition takes place in two processes, isobar isochoric and isobaric. And but the expansion is the same, and the, um, the heat release is the same uh, as before. So for that, you 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 can uh, derive the equation, uh, the, the thermal efficiency equation, uh, as um, so so again. You, you have the volume compression ratio and the um, fuel cutoff ratio. So, uh, so R, 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 RC uh, and uh, uh, RP. Uh, so, uh, so RP is the is the pressure ratio basically. Uh, so RP is the pressure ratio. Uh, R R R. So here, RC is the uh, fuel cutoff uh, ratio. R is the uh, volume ratio. Uh, RP is the pressure ratio. So um, basically, uh, P3 over P2, P3 over P2 is, is RP, uh, and uh, uh, V4 over V3 is uh, R um, C, V1 over V2 is R. Okay. So with that, uh, like earlier, you you can use uh, uh, PV to the power gamma is equal to um, PV, PV to the power gamma is equal to uh, it's a constant for isentropic process. So, and uh, for isochoric process, uh, your uh, V is the same. Uh, for isentropic, uh, isobaric process, your P is the same. Um, so, with that, you can write uh, T1 V1 gamma minus 1 is equal to T2 V2 gamma minus 1. With that, you can get T2 over T1 is R to gamma minus 1. And P2 V2 over T2 is P3 V3 over T3. Uh, with that, <clears throat> you can get uh, T3 over T2 is equal to RP. T3 or T2, T3 or T2 is equal to RP because it, uh, it it's an isochoric process, and then you can get for for, for an isobaric process uh, three three to four uh, T T4 over T3 is equal to RC. Okay. 
so that that's an, that's easy to get okay. so uh, for for four to five so earlier this in the in the <clears throat> gasoline engine and uh, so, so uh, or the uh, spark ignition engine and the compression ignition engine uh, or the diesel cycle you had uh, you had uh, three to four like that but now you have five, four to five here so, okay so t4v for gamma minus one you can again say that uh, P, pv to the power gamma is constant with that you can get t, t4v for gamma to the gamma minus one is equal to t5v for gamma minus one with that you can get d, t5 over t4 is equal to rc over gamma minus one so you can you can get that relationship so you use all that to um, obtain uh, the uh, the relationship between uh, uh, the q <coughs> the, the the workout and the q q in so uh, at the end uh, you, uh, then you can um, uh, like earlier 45 over t1 you you had uh, say you substitute t5 over t1 is equal to t5 over t4 times t4 over t3 times t3 over t2 times t2 over t1 so like earlier so you know the t, you know the ratios t2 over t1 t3 over t2 t4 over t3 and t5 over t, t4 so then you substitute all that in this equation and then uh, with that you can uh, you can uh, obtain the um, thermal efficiency equation for uh, the dual cycle so that will be one minus RC gamma um, times RP minus one uh, over R gamma minus one times RP minus one plus gamma RP times RC minus one. So, okay. so, um, so this this is this is more like a dual, dual cycle. is quite a realistic cycle. Therefore, uh, you can use uh, uh, this as well. So, so we did. Uh, uh, spark ignition cycle or, or the auto cycle compression ignition cycle and and the dual cycle which is a com combination of the auto cycle and the compression ignition cycle so uh, <clears throat> now you, you have described the operation of the auto cycle uh, so uh, therm thermodynamic cycle uh, so <clears throat> so the thermodynamics principles behind that and we have de derived the ideal efficiencies for auto cycle diesel cycle and compression ignition cycle and the dual cycle and uh, then calculate it uh, you can calculate the temperatures and pressures at uh, each point of the cycle now so uh, so for all these uh, so the main thing to remember is uh, for um, isentropic process you can use uh, pv to the power gamma is constant uh, and p1 v1 over t t1 is equal to p2 v2 over t2 and for an isentropic process uh, for any process you can you can use that and then uh, wherever needed you uh, for an isochoric process v2 is equal to v1 for an isobaric process p2 is equal to p1 uh, so you use those relationships and derive the equation good and um, yeah thank you for listening to this so um, i will see you on wednesday and uh, thursday um, wednesday for the tutorial class thursday for the <coughs> lecture thank you